In today's video, we're gonna be talking about market profile for the TradingView platform. Now, in the past, you've probably seen me do analysis videos and you see what's called volume profile. However, market profile is different. When we actually look at each individual profile, one thing that's different between volume profile and actually market profile is volume profile deals with volume. Market profile deals in what's called TPOs, time price opportunities. So for instance, you'll see that it starts out when the period opens, starts out in A and just goes all the way through the alphabet. You'll get through capital case, lowercase. Now, some of the things that make market profiles so beneficial is it's very easy to see single prints. Now, a lot of times during the live streams and the analysis videos, you'll hear me talking about minus development areas with volume profile, but in market profile, we have what's called single prints. In this case, look at the area of the profile where we just have a single block. Right here, we have one, two, three, four, five. Right here, we just have one block one block. These are considered single prints. We can also identify poor highs and poor lows. Now, a poor high would be when you have multiple blocks stacked at the high, or a poor low would be multiple blocks stacked at the low. In this case, you can see there was only single prints down here at these lows. And that is what you want to see if you want to see the market start to rally up. Let's talk about the two different ways to get market profile on your chart. And there's a huge difference. Now, similar to volume profile, one thing I want to make clear, when I'm looking at market profile charts, I always start off with having the chart on a 30 minute time frame. Now, normally you're looking, at, you're used to looking at charts with candlesticks. And the first way I'm going to share with you guys, you might not like, so make sure you stick around for the second method on how we're going to add market profile to the chart. So the first way is you can come right over here where the candles are and we can go ahead and select the drop down. and you can see right here where it says time price opportunities. Keep in mind, we talked about TPOs earlier. I go ahead and select the screen. Now when I zoom the chart out, we can see that we have TPOs, but where in the world are the candles at? Even if we go ahead and we right click on the screen, we come over here to settings. And one of the things that they give us the opportunity to see is if we go ahead and make this line right here, I have this on price source set to close. Now we can see where the line is. That's, that's basically showing us price on close, but let's go over some of these settings real quick. Now periods, I have it for one and that will give us a session profile per day. Block size, I have this set to 30. Row size, I like to have this set to manual. Normally out of the box, it's gonna be set to auto. I like to have it six ticks per row. Then the value areas, I set mine at 68. Now 68 and 70 are the two common value areas that traders use with market profile and with volume profile. Now, if we uncheck right here where it says blocks, notice all the blocks are gone. All we can see is the letters on the screen. If you prefer to see the blocks, then you can have the blocks on. If you don't wanna see the letters, just uncheck that box right there. Now you can adjust the opacity. I just leave it roughly right where it's at. Then right down here where it says lines and labels, you wanna make sure that you have point of control. You can have the poor high, poor low, which it'll automatically draw out for you. For instance, look right up here at the highs. What do we see? It's automatically marking off that poor high, which is what we talked about earlier in the video. We can also have it where it marks off a poor low. And in this chart, we just simply don't have where there's a poor low. If you want the mark off where the single prints are, we can select that as well. And we can see right here, we can see where the single prints are already highlighted. For me, I don't normally have that on. I can visually see that myself. Value area high, low, uh, TPO midpoint, all that is very easy to see. The open, if you want the close on the chart, that's pretty much you know self-explanatory. You see right here where it puts the close on the chart. You can see right here where it puts the open. So you can see which way the market moved if you don't want to look at you know the different letter letters within the profile. Now, here's something that's a little bit different that some traders may like. And I'm going to show you when we go to add the profiles on the second step, you know, a different way around this that I actually like better. But if we simply click show volume profile, you can see it'll put a volume profile on the chart as well. Now, one thing that you'll notice is when we come into single prints, we don't always have a huge minus development area within the profile, so within the volume profile. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Now, value area high, low, point of control, that is all the same that you guys are used to hearing me talk about with volume profile charts. Now, if you look at the, if you look at the volume, that is essentially gonna give us the area outside of value. If you look at the value area, I have this set to white, that's gonna be the shaded area, the 68% of the entire volume that was traded within that range. Placement, we have it to the left or we can simply select it over here to the right. I'm just gonna keep it to the left for this time being. And then there you go, you have market profile on your chart. But to me, if you're a newer trader, this is gonna be a little bit 
more confusing because you'll say, wow, I don't understand. Where are the candles at? What's the market doing? I'm even more confused than before. So let's go ahead and rewind real quick. And let me show you a new way around this. I'm gonna go ahead and reselect the chart back over to candlesticks. Now, if you want a way to support the channel for absolutely no cost to you and you trade with Apex Trader Funding, make sure to use promo code Mike. And right now with my funded futures, you can get 25% off the expert plan or the starter plus plan using promo code Mike at checkout. And now that we have the chart on candlesticks, come right over here to where it says indicators, select indicators. Then we wanna come over here to where it says technicals. Then from there, we wanna see where it says profiles. Now, there's a lot of different profiles. This is where a lot of the volume profile tools will be placed as well. But right up here where it says time priced opportunity, I'm gonna go ahead and start that. I'm gonna double click it. Now you don't have to start it. I just did it so it'll automatically be on my chart. Now, one thing that's different about this one is by default, you can already see the, the volume profile, but also notice we can see the candle. So if I hover it over it, we can see where the candles were. Now I know this looks a little bit busy. However, now we come right over here to settings. We wanna to go to inputs, again, period, one day, block size, 30 minute. And again, from auto, I wanna select manual. I wanna put this to six price levels. Value area, I actually want this at 68. Next, we come over here to style. And under styles, I do like the blocks. I want the letters as well. Banded blocks, we can just leave that unchecked. If I check that, you can see how it just breaks it on out throughout the day. Point of control, you wanna go ahead and select the point of control so we can see where the most amount of time was spent throughout the day. If you wanna select the poor high, poor low, you can do that as well. And you can see when I selected poor high, we can see how it popped this horizontal line going right across the screen, right up in there. Then if we come right over here to this tab where it says volume profile, we can have it where it shows volume profile. However, I don't wanna do that. I simply uncheck the volume profile, select okay. Now you can see, we can kind of see the candlesticks. Now, if you still want volume profile on your chart, is the same volume profile that I've set up in the past. The only difference is where it says style instead of on the left-hand side, where it'd be over there overlapping the market profile. I have this where it's selected to right. Then I can, you know, have all the all the different things I'm used to looking at. To me, this profile is a little bit more detailed than the profile that's already built into market profile. Now, if you'd like to see how to set up a volume profile on the TradingView platform, make sure to watch this video right here.